Hi there, today I'm going to talk to you about how to safely store your seeds so that you get to use them next year and the year after, hopefully, if you're lucky. Um, your two enemies really are moisture and light. So you want to keep them away from excess moisture and allow the seeds to continue to breathe after you've put them away for storage. And you want to keep them away from light so that they know they're in their dormancy and they don't try and start growing again. So what I use is a tin like this and it's not a sponsored ad unfortunately because I'd eat plenty of them if it was. Um, so a tin like this is good or a wooden box because they'll keep the um, light out which you don't really want to use as a plastic box because the plastic box is too airtight usually and doesn't allow the seeds to um, breathe properly and keeps in the moisture and they become you know um, fungus grow on them and uh, you know they go too damp um, the other thing is a plastic box lets in light and light is the other enemy so with inside my tin I keep them you want to keep them in a little paper bag or envelope so I'm just using these like you can get from an ordinary stationery shop uh, strictly speaking they'll say you shouldn't use a gummed one but really um, I, I don't see any major problem with using these and they're a nice little size I, I bought them from a in a multi-pack from a stationery shop for very little money so they're perfect for me to use uh, your other alternative is maybe a white envelope but they say there's bleaches and chemicals in the white envelope that maybe you want to keep your seeds away from the idea being is that again like using a wooden box there's just enough um, opportunity for the moisture to escape these uh, envelopes whereas if you put them in one of the little ziploc bag a little ziploc plastic bag would uh, not allow them to breathe properly and would bring the dampness on them again um, you want to keep them somewhere dry and warm so I have tried my shed it didn't work for me even though I think my shed is fine and dry um, the, the, they definitely went mouldy so um, now I have them in a spare room that's not heated inside in the bottom of the wardrobe and that seems to be fine so you're looking for somewhere like that to keep them and if you look after your seeds you'll have them next year and I'll show you in another video how you can do a germination test on old seeds to see how many of them are still active and uh, that's my tips for today on seed storage.